Now we are going to go over workout split examples. First up is a three day split. It's a push pull split. Really good for beginners. Splits it up, the workouts up into three days. Next up is a four day split. Splits the muscles groups up into four days. A little bit more advanced than a three day, so it's a natural progression to move into the four day. Now we're up to a five day split. Again, you have the muscle group split up into five days, and it's more advanced than the three and the four day. All right, now we're going to talk about strength training principles. The first principle we're going to talk about is the pyramid set. We got RJ over here on the easy curl bar or with the preacher bench. We're going to, he has just two tens on the bar right now. Basically, what a pyramid is, you start with a weight. You do as, you know, as many reps as you want for set number one. You know, we're probably looking for about 8 to 12 on this first set. He's going to palm these out. And then once we get to our desired rep range, we're going to up the weight. Right? Set number three of the pyramid, we added two fives on the bar. And again, we're just going to pump out probably six to eight reps on this one. Once we get that done, we move on. All right, strength training principle number two is the drop set. Once again, we got RJ over here on the preacher bench with his easy curl bar loaded up. He's gonna do a set for eight to 12 reps, then we're gonna re-rack the weight, take some weight off, strip it, then lower it to the point where we can do some more reps. So here we go. Then you get RJ going on the preacher bench. Does a few reps. And once he gets to a point where he can't do any more, he's going to rack it and take off two fives. And he's going to pump out some more. And the cool thing about drop sets is it doesn't have to be just one set. You can do it once again. Once he reaches failure with this weight, we'll come in, we'll rack it, take off a 10, and we'll pump out a few more. And that completes the drop set. All right, the strength training principle number three is the rest pause set. What we're gonna do here, RJ has his easy curl bar all loaded up. He's gonna do as many reps as he possibly can, set the weight down for about 20 seconds, then go at it again. Here he goes, he's gonna do some reps. With strict form, he's gonna go until he can't do any more. He's going to drop the weight, take a breather, stretch out his arms a little bit, loosen up. Now you want to go with a pretty heavy weight with this. This isn't something you're going to do a lot of high rep sets with. It's go maximum weight, rest a few seconds, get the last lactic acid back in, back out of the muscle, go right back at it. A lot of high intensity principal trainers do this, such as Dorian Yates, Mike Menzer, all those guys. This is a high intensity principle right here. All right guys, strength training principle number four is the negative. Now this is a form of spotting. What we're gonna do, RJ's gonna get the bar. He's gonna do his curl like he's been doing throughout the whole series here. But instead of doing the positive portion of the rep, he's gonna focus on the negative portion. So he's really fighting that weight on the way down here. Once he gets it all the way down, you're gonna take it real nice and slow. It's all at the bottom. Your spotter's gonna help you get it back up, and he's gonna go right back down and fight it. Once again, this is important to have a spotter on this exercise because this is something you use possibly at the end of your workout. You're gonna already pre-exhaust the biceps, so he's gonna be fatigued. And this is just something to break down the muscle fibers even more. So. All right, so here we are with, the, we we're talking about training principle number four, the negatives. Now this is just gonna be another variety for those of you who aren't into the weights and everything yet or whatnot. Here you just need a spotter or a partner and you're gonna take a simple gym towel, your sweat towel that you use in each and every session. And Kyle here is gonna demonstrate. He's gonna take the towel in his hand like he's holding any other bar. He's gonna to go to the top part of the curl and I'm gonna take this up the rag and I'm gonna pull it out with Kyle pulling up as hard as he can resisting me as much as he can until we get to the bottom. Again, we reach the bottom, gonna let him come back up, and we're gonna start again. He's gonna engage his bicep as hard as he can, 
and try to keep me from pulling his arms down. This here creates another way of using a negative, but yet without any weights. Thank you, Cal. All right, guys, training principle number five is we're going to talk about the superset, the tricep, and the giant set. First up, Artie is going to demonstrate just the chest press here. That's going to be our first exercise in the superset. So as he goes back, he's going to bang out a few reps here, just normal, everyday chest press. When he finishes up, he's going to go in, transition right into a fly. Change of weight real quick. He's going to grab different weights, rock back, now he's into a fly. This is the second exercise, so a superset. Now you can do a couple different versions of superset. Here we're demonstrating a same muscle group superset, meaning we did a chest press, now we're doing a chest fly. Now you can do opposing muscle groups, let's say leg extensions with leg curls. It's a different variation of a superset, both ways work. Now we're going to transition to a third exercise to create, turn this into a super, turn, turn it from a superset into a tricep. Now we're just going to demonstrate push-ups. Again, superset, two exercises, tricep, three exercises. Now if we want to turn it into a giant set, we'll add a fourth exercise. Now a giant set can be four, can be five, could even be more. Could, basically a giant set could transition right into a circle. So again, the fourth exercise is for the chest. So we did four exercises in a row for the chest muscle group. And then once we finish with this, we repeat the cycle again. All right, we're going to talk about lip bust for females. So a lot of you ladies out there might be scared to come down in this weight section. And you really shouldn't because it's no different for girls. I'm not going to end up with a beard. I'm not going to be all big and bulky. I just want to lean up. I want to gain some muscle. And it, it's virtually all the same. Um, I can do all the same movements. They demonstrated them greatly, and it's all the same for me. So the only real difference between me and these guys is that I have less muscle mass and not as much testosterone. So I'm not going to get all big and bulky, just stronger. Alright, the topic of warming up. It's something that doesn't get discussed a whole lot, but it's very important. One of the first things we want to talk about when warming up is literally warming up the body. The best way to do that is to just don't jump on a treadmill, elliptical, 5-10 minutes, get the blood flowing, and that gets the body warmed up to move on to dynamic stretching. Um, what I like to do, especially on leg days, is just swing in your leg, warming up the hip flexor, just getting everything ready. Um, you can do a squat, just warm up those legs. Nice Alright, now another important thing when you're warming yourself up, Kyle talked about doing the cardio. That's just going to get the blood pumping through your whole body. Marissa's talking about dynamic stretching, warming up the joints and the ligaments that you're going to be using. Now, the most important though is before you start working, there's going to be your progression sets on the exercises you're doing. You're going to start out with a lightweight that's comfortable. You're going to move through a comfortable range of motion and execute the exercise with proper form. This will help warm the muscles up that you are going to be using for the specific exercises that your day is going to entail. This here will allow you to, again, everything's warmed up and going to allow you to push that greater and greater amount of weight, if that is your goal. If it's not, it's going to allow you to be warmed up and get your reps that you want and tone up and firm up, as in Marissa's case here. Either which way, warming up is essential.